Hi everyone. Today we're going to discuss prop tech or real estate technology companies in India. We're going to look at the potential impact of technology on Indian real estate and some of the different types of prop tech companies operating in India today. Historically, the real estate industry in India has been based on a lot of interpersonal interaction between buyers, sellers, agents and even financial institutions. So it should come as no surprise that 2020 and the lockdowns that came with it caused the industry to speed up their shift towards technology adoption. During the period of January to November 2020, prop tech firms attracted over a billion dollars in funding. Since this is a large industry, today we're going to take a look at some different technology applications in real estate. To keep things simple, I'm going to divide these prop tech companies into three different categories depending on which part of the process is being disrupted by the use of technology. So the first category here is information. The first wave of technology companies in the real estate industry aim to provide increased information and transparency for buyers. By providing improved market access and efficiency, along with increased transparency when it comes to product details and even product delivery timelines, these innovations are making sure that the buyer and seller are on the same page and that consumers are making an informed decision. This would include firms like aggregators such as 99 Acres, Magic Bricks, Common Floor and so many more. Apart from providing market access and transparency, these firms also provide market insights based on the data they collect and the trends that they can see from transactions and viewings on their portals. Another innovation in this category is virtual home viewings. Given that a lot of customers were not able to visit sites due to lockdowns this year, virtual viewings have seen a huge spike in popularity. These viewings can be in the form of video walkthroughs or in the cases of some companies, full-scale VR renderings of sample flats. These virtual viewings allow customers to have the full freedom to view and experience the property that they wish to purchase without actually being there. Innovations in information are also being seen in the public sector. Through tools like Rera, customers can now get complete and transparent information about products that they wish to purchase and are able to track their progress over time. Some municipal organizations like the BMC in Mumbai also allow citizen searches and online tracking of all projects that are registered on their online portals. These innovations are also making a mark on the construction side of things. One of these innovations that is becoming more and more popular in India is BIM or Building Information Modeling. BIM firms are providing software products to developers to streamline and consolidate their entire construction process on one platform to ensure timely delivery and quality of product. BIM is widely used globally for the construction management of large and complex projects and it's great to see these innovations being applied here as well. The next category here is transaction. These innovations are allowing customers to complete some of their property related transactions online. After showing a customer a walkthrough and providing complete and transparent information about a product, some of these firms are also allowing for the booking of the properties and some of the documentation process to be done online. Some of the aggregators we mentioned earlier have also branched out into these types of services with offerings like rental payment and agreement drafting on their portals. This could also include the National Real Estate Development Council's Housing for All portal, which is looking to specialize in more affordable housing. An interesting firm to look at in this category is Square Yards, a portal which allows for the purchase of both residential and commercial assets online. What's interesting about this company is to see how the lockdown impacted their business model. In fact, the lockdown only served to increase their market share and they reported a gross transaction value of 2,200 crores in the second quarter of 2020. In fact, by being one of the prominent players in their space, they were able to capture about 20% of the real estate sales taking place during that lockdown quarter. In fact, by virtue of being an online portal, half of these sales were actually NRIs looking to invest in India. Apart from showcasing a market trend, these numbers also show us the immense potential for property tech firms 
in this transaction related space. To give you a comparison point, Lian Jia, a Chinese brokerage and online property transaction portal founded in 2001 when the Chinese real estate market was maturing, this year listed itself on the New York Stock Exchange. In 2019, this company reported 2.2 million transactions on their portal with a gross transaction value of $300 billion. Now let's talk about the last category, ownership. These sets of innovations are changing the way in which we buy and own properties. The most popular concept here is known as fractional ownership. Fractional ownership firms allow you to buy a share in a rent earning commercial property which allows you to get both the yield benefits and appreciation returns enjoyed by a property owner while reducing the ticket size. This ensures that you as a customer can get all the benefits of owning a property without the upfront cost and the ongoing hassle of being a property owner. These firms take care of the renting out and managing of these properties and allow you to track and view all of this information mostly through online portals. Some of these firms even assist with resale to ensure that you have a higher level of liquidity when it comes to your share of this rent earning property. Off the top of my head, some of the firms that are popular in this category are Property Share and Strata. These innovations in ownership can also bring more profound changes in the long run as more and more advanced technology is applied to real estate. To give you an example of what the future holds, a city in the US state of Vermont recently conducted a trial to use a blockchain ledger for property ownership records. As time goes on and the benefits of technology adoption become more and more obvious, the prop tech space should continue to grow and evolve. This is a huge industry and due to time constraints, I was only able to go over the different types of property tech innovations upcoming in India today. If you would like me to talk about any of these in more detail, please do let me know. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for listening. I hope that this video gave you an idea of where the prop tech market in India is today and where it could be going. As always, please let me know what you think in the comments below and please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content. See you soon and thank you.